Well, it's March 6th, 2023. There's a little bit of an echo here. It must be the little greenhouse and then the house. But uh, uh, I'm not in the car today. I'm going to get in the car later, but I thought, you know what? It's so nice out right now. And I think we've just seen the turn, or I've seen the turn. What has happened is it got up to about 61, so I came out here, and it's about noon right now as I'm doing this. And it's supposed to roll over and get cooler tonight, and then we're going to get into a little bit of a normal, maybe a little bit, even a little below normal cool spell for a while, uh, below normal temps. But, uh, yeah, 61 degrees. Kind of liking it. A lot of flies out, though. Man, it's just amazing. They survive the winter, and then immediately on a warm day, boom, there they are, flies. Ridiculous. But uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I like living a little bit more in the north. Um, I've looked at Florida in the past. I had a job that wanted me to come down there and move there, and I never did. And I think, well, I'm in the communist state of Illinois. Why wouldn't I want to go to Florida, the freedom state? Well, with that freedom comes a lot of warm weather, and nothing dies in the warm weather. So there's that. You know, you, The bugs get bigger and more nasty. And I don't know if I want to deal with that. Uh, the, the hard freezes are kind of nice to wipe some of that stuff out. Plus, you've got a net inflow into Florida. There we go. Smoking an Oliva Siri G Maduro today. And I didn't used to like the Siri Gs, but, you know, I kind of, they grow on you. Leave them in the humidor for a while and they, they get pretty good. So, I don't know, anything by Oliva I like. Pretty good brand. Probably my favorite brand of cigar. But anyway, um, living in Illinois, why would you live in Illinois? That's what people say. It's like, why would you live in California? And it's like, have you been to California? A lot of beautiful places in California. It's just that the government layer on top ah, is a little bit of the problem. I just noticed I got my, you know, better days shirt on. Hey, there's always going to be a better day. That's what it comes down to, right? I mean, you can't let these vampires wipe you out and take you out early. That's kind of the thing right now. Uh, surviving the storm and getting through the storm that's the most important thing it really is and realizing that everything's temporary you know it might look bad right now but if you can survive it um you know that's the key in all this so that maybe we can uh, pass along our information our experience to the next generation and and get through this transition and fortunately we've got things like crypto and and people who have stood up and called out things like the deep state and the fake news and and those things that um used to be just conspiracy theories you know from alex jones and i see the meme going around a lot uh alex jones was right yeah he was right for about a lot of things he named his site info wars um and prison planet that was another one he has might still have or had um he kind of identified it and and understood the um what was really going on now, he's got his flaws like everybody else, and there's some things that, you know, didn't go so well for him. But um, he was kind of on the pulse, you know, when it was a very faint pulse and, you know, called those things out. So, yeah, definitely it's an info war. That's what we're in right now. I'm kind of filthy, you know, the car, messing with cars. What a nightmare. Man's got to know his limitations when it comes to automobiles. Anyway. Maybe I should stick to the cigars and happy hours and making videos. But um, looking at the crypto market in general right now, um, you know, we had a little bit of a, a FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Um, SEC Chairman Gensler, it sounds like he called out Binance for saying, well, they're selling unregistered securities. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. The fact is, um, a lot of these things, let's just take proof of work like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Digibyte, those kind of coins, Dogecoin. Um, those are um, just code. I mean, they're just words on paper that we're deciding to run that are running on different computers that we're giving power to and energy to. And we can actually transact value with them. And the only reason they have value is because we see the see the ability to transact that value very easily within our own means, within our own possession. Uh, we can transfer value over an independent network that's decentralized that is immutable. You can't change it once it's done. Once a transaction block is done, it doesn't go away. It's there for eternity. You know, the ledger, that, that database that it's stored in is stored by all those computers. And when you run a node, you've got all those you can look up any of them. So if there's an ordinal, for instance, you know, or something written on the blockchain, um, it's always going to be there. 
So imagine the blockchain being, and there's only so much room in certain blockchains, you know, there's only so much, so much blah, 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 that's all folks. There's only so much space that's there. However, you can pay to write that data. And right now it's cheap on the Litecoin blockchain, more expensive on Bitcoin. But if you were to put a book on there, if you were to inscribe in an ordinal uh, an image or um, a house deed, you know, at a given time in history, I mean, anything, you can save things historically because what you're seeing in the digital age is that anything can be changed. You've seen the deep fake videos to where I could be here, but it's not me. Someone's using my face and, you know, whatever. And the lips are moving, but it, it's not really me. And you can see that with so many um, people that you don't know if they're real or not, if it's digital. You only know if you meet them in person, meet them for real. And even then sometimes, I mean, they're doubles. All presidents have doubles and all world leaders have doubles. I saw the video of Zelensky's double, you know, when Biden was over there visiting and you saw him in the background. And uh, it's just, you know, what do you believe anymore? And so I think... I think when the pendulum swings the other way here, um, because it's way to the extreme, almost illusory uh, side of things right now, where everything's an illusion, everything's a magic trick, as like when Lisa says, and she doesn't like magic tricks. Completely understand because magic is deceptive and it's being used deceptively, let's say that. Real magic is, is uh, indeed just a, you know, like a miracle almost, you know, a miracle of birth, a miracle of manifesting the future, a miracle of prayer, the miracle of, you know, using our energy, our spirits and, and projecting that power and creating something real based on an idea and based on intention. Um, those are important. Um, but what we're seeing, I think we'll swing back the other way to where um, those things that can be validated, that are real, that are provable, that... Um, that we know in our gut, that we know instinctually inside, uh, those things are gonna become more valuable and sought out. And I think that's why blockchain, you know, I think if you're in blockchain right now, you're like the Alex Jones of information. You know, you realize the info war before it was coming. We're realizing the, the shift that's coming and understanding that it is going to be digital. Uh, much of the world is going to have a digital framework in. However, we'll see the value, uh, the valuable digital assets, the things that are important. You know, you'll be able to maintain history on a blockchain. You'll be able to archive it. Whereas right now, it's just in flux. I mean, they changed the narrative. And, oh, we didn't say that. Nah, I've always been for, you know, uh, 1984, it was, uh, they used the, hey, we're at war against East Asia. Uh, you know, Eurasia. You know, we've always been at war with this one and that one. And, and you just don't even know. How, what's our memory span right now? We forget. We forget all the things that happened two weeks ago. I can't even remember what I did yesterday. I'm constantly leaving stuff around. Where did I leave that? You know, and it's just constant flux. And imagine if it's constant deception, you know, with everything you see, every device you see. And uh, it's hard to um, maintain any semblance of continuity. And that frazzles people and messes them up and it distorts things and makes it very disjointed and very difficult to uh, to move through this period right now and that's why it's so important that we survive and and maintain that sense of humanity and make sure that we as human beings continue to rise and flourish and and seek out those things that 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 underpin humanity because humanity is important and i think that that's what the the bad guys the evil ones the vampires loathe they hate our humanity and our ability to overcome and you look at all the stuff they've done to us trains get derailed chemicals go into the air into the water uh, fluoride in the water um, things in the sky that are falling you know coming out of the back ends of planes on certain days but not other days well what is that stuff what is all of that look at the chemicals in the foods look at the, the modification that's done i mean how does that affect us and yet you know, and what do they what do they shoot into us and get us to volunteer into? You know, since so from from birth, um, are those things good for us? Probably not. Have they destroyed us yet? No. Are they trying to? Yes. However, it's a testament to humanity that we're able to survive. You know, in the midst of all these things, um, as much damage is trying to be done, and that's starting to come out. All that information is really starting to come out. You've, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. He was the health secretary, Hancock or something, where in text messages recently, I don't know if it's for Britain or, you know, I don't know. It's all the governments basically, 
working behind the scenes. Hey, when are we releasing the new variant? When are we pumping the new variant? And so we can fear these idiots back into their houses and make them obey. And that's all it is. It's all about control and obedience. And that's all they've done the past few years. Uh, they really ramped it up and they continue to do it. So by nature, I'm just a disobedient person. And I think we get to that point to where, you know what? Nah, I'm just a disobedient guy. You know, I don't trust anything you say. I look the other way and look for better answers and look inside, really, for better answers. This is what happens when you ramble. The cigar goes out. So, um, just kind of want to just share my thoughts for the day. I don't know. Take what for what you will out of it. Um, but the crypto market, I'm looking at it, and I still hold fast to... Um, I look at Litecoin mostly because I understand that. I've seen it and been a... Um, a big proponent of Litecoin for what it does for many years. Uh, I'm just a big fan because I, I see the value that it does bring and I see the finite supply. I see that the you've got the um, the privacy in it that makes it you know a, a superior form of digital money than really most other blockchains at this point. And so it's important um, to pay attention to that stuff. So I know it. I know it pretty well. And just looking at history and how Litecoin performs... Uh, I've said it quite a bit now that by June, or I should say by July, probably in June, we're going to see um, Litecoin really flex its muscles. And um, the longer it's held down, see, it's going to move. And it's just, okay, it's either going to move up gradually. I guess it'd be this way, right? It's going to move up gradually or it's going to be compressed and it's going to keep moving sideways and like this until finally it, it just does this. And it will happen, I think, before before the halving, which is like right at the beginning of August. And um, I'm looking at June, roughly 45 days before the halving, because that's what it's done in the past. That's usually when it gets its, its, its you know, peak. Now that could all change this year. Um, it could seek out its fair value and continue after that. However, I think a lot of the energy will be built into it and you'll see a nice move up in June of this year. And I put $240 on it, if you can gauge anything with dollars anymore as many as they create out of nothing. But um, no, I think you'll. I think it's going to continue to do that. And the longer they compress it and, and hold it down and it's held down, the more it will rocket launch up and really shock people and surprise people. And um, just be prepared for that. Just, just put your, do some research, put your energy into some out sound assets that have been around for a long time. Litecoin is essentially just like Bitcoin. It's just got better improvements. It's faster and it's been running for over 11 years straight, nonstop. And you look at the numbers again, 8 billion people in the world, only 84 million Litecoin. That's one one hundredth of a Litecoin for everybody. That's it. If divided equally. So one Litecoin right now, you could get probably under 90 bucks, definitely under a hundred. And that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good risk, I think, at this point. And so, anyway, that's why I talk about it. It's something to look at if you haven't. And it's on sale right now. So, all right, that's that's really all I have for today. I mean, I could say a lot more. I'm not going to, but um, you need to trust yourselves. It's a dangerous time if if you let it. But if you know what's coming and you kind of telegraph things and see see how people are repeating the same uh, game plan, these vampires, because that's what they do, then uh, you just kind of get out of the way. And if you continue to feed them and feed into that system, you are going to be destroyed by them. Well, don't let yourself be destroyed. Find ways out of that. You know, I'm just mentioning a few things. But, um, you know, know who you are. Trust yourselves. Know that... Uh, You've got the answers inside, look inward, and you know, don't let people deceive you because that's what vampires do. It's all about deception and it's all about that bad magic. Don't be fooled with the magic tricks. All right, love you all. Hope you have a wonderful Monday. Hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, I might be back in the vehicle tomorrow. We'll see what happens, don't know. But uh, trust yourselves. Thanks for watching. If you, I don't wanna say enjoyed. I mean, if you got something out of this, if you've been entertained by prior videos, then you know what, give me a thumbs up. And if there's something in here that uh, might help somebody else that you think um, uh, one of these videos that I do, you know, share it with a friend. And I, I appreciate all your support and hopefully uh, I can help open your eyes to something so that maybe it can change your life. So love you all, have a wonderful day and always trust yourselves.